This is Andy Poroff, Oxy Social in association with Betfred. I'm here in London and I'm joined by Adam Morley here in, in London. Once again, I don't know why I've said that twice. Adam, firstly, how are you? I'm good, thanks Andy. How are you, mate? I'm good. It's been a while since I last saw you. Um, a lot's going on in the heavyweight division, Adam. There's a lot of talk about potential fights, potential interim fights. Obviously, we've seen the sad circumstances surrounding the Ukraine and we've seen a lot of fighters kind of being committed to defending their country and Alexander Usyk, the Klitschko brothers, Vasily Lomachenko as well and obviously we hope that something can happen there in terms of just safety for the people of Ukraine sooner rather than later but in the meantime there's boxing matters to be discussed obviously Anthony Joshua is waiting to see whether Usyk can continue with his career in the the meantime to face off with each other in that rematch whether that happens or not we don't know yet but there's been some back and forth between your charge Joe Joyce and AJ What's been your take over the past few days, Adam, of seeing the back and forth first and foremost? Yeah, I mean, there's been people out there saying, you know, Joe doesn't control his Twitter account and all this kind of stuff. I can tell you, obviously, Sam's no longer with us. Um, Sam got bought out. He's with Pro Bellum now. Joe controls his own Twitter account, right? He controls his own Twitter account. There may be people like social media people who suggest pictures for Joe to post, but Joe controls his own Twitter account. Joe sent me those tweets before he put them out there and said, is this okay? But that's him doing it. I don't tell him to tweet. I mean, most of the time, Joe, as you can probably see from Joe's Twitter profile, he's not that bothered about social media. But I think he saw what someone said about him. I think it was a boxing social interview. He saw what someone said about him. He was angry. So like a lot of people who get angry, he turned to Twitter. Full of a lot of angry people, isn't it? Um... Adam, as we wait to see what will happen with AJ and if he does end up facing Usyk or not next, where would you say Joe ranks in that list? How confident are you that if there is an interim fight, Joe may well be the next man to step into, into the ring with Anthony Joshua, which would be a, a huge fight in the UK? Yeah, look, we, we want Joe to fight in June. Right? We, as a management team, want Joe to fight in June. Joe wants to fight in June. He's coming off an injury. Injuries progress really well. He wants to fight in June. So we're looking at opponents. I've been talking, it's no secret, I've been talking to David Higgins, Joe Parker for months. We're trying to get that fight made. We really want that fight made. WBO1 v WBO2. Um, If that fight isn't made, we have to look at other options, different people, and we've got got kind of reserve options, but we're trying to make the Parker fight. It's not made yet. Then something like AJ comes out of, not out of the blue, but it's something we would obviously never be planning for. And of course Joe would take that fight. We want that fight every day of the week. So Joe really wants that fight. But when I look at it from an Anthony Joshua perspective, I don't think it makes sense for him. He wants to fight Usyk. Uh, He wants to preserve that position to go for those titles against Usyk. I think Joe's just too much of a risk for AJ. I think a lot of respect towards a unified two-time world champion. Not saying Joe Joyce is going to blow him out or anything like that. But I also don't think Joe gets beaten around. I don't think that's a sensible thing that's going to happen it's not going to happen it's going to be a great fight if they do if they do match up I don't think it's going to happen next I do think that fight will happen though have you have you reached out to AJ's team at all about that fight yet have any form of even if it's very informal discussions taken place um, so it's it's kind of as, so I know the 258 guys Freddie KD Will great guys got utmost respect for them and I have had a brief kind of chat they they said to me Usyk's Usyk's still on and they're still looking at Usyk so they've not neither turned it down or not turned it down but that is a promoter-led conversation there that is a Frank and Eddie conversation there but yeah I mean the 258 guys are terrific and I'd love to talk to them about that fight but I do think it'll be made I do think it will be made at some point I think what you've got at the moment though is a bit of a log jam you've got uh, Joshua Usyk who knows you know, Usyk, incredible guy defending his country. Who knows when that's going to... And I think the WBO should wait for Usyk. They shouldn't do anything with the title. You must wait for Usyk. Then Joshua will fight him. Uh, and Joe will, Joe will bide his time and wait his turn. But Joe's the mandatory. And once Joshua Usyk is dealt with, and then once an undisputed is dealt with, Joe Joyce will fight for a world title. Adam, the other names in the mix were Deontay Wilder and then two southpaws, which would lead to pe- better preparation for AJ ahead of a potential Usyk rematch further down the line in Ot- um, Otto Valin and Luis Ortiz. Again, when you look at the list of these, Joe, Deontay, Otto and Luis Ortiz, where would Joe rank in your opinion amongst those? Or do you think uh, 
from more of a kind of a sensible decision to go with a southpaw opponent is a more viable move in AJ's position. Yeah, I think in terms of where does he rank in likelihood, I think Deontay Wilder and Joe Joyce rank at the bottom of that list. Far too, far too risky, low reward, not at this stage of AJ's career. Wants to beat Usyk, wants to reclaim the titles and go for undisputed. It's a 150 million quid fight. So Wilder and Joyce are right at the bottom. Um, Otto Wallen, Lewis Ortiz, both great opponents for AJ. If I was a betting man, I think he'll go with Wallen. I think it's perfect. Uh, Fury didn't stop him. I think AJ, st I think AJ stops Wallen. Away from that one, the sparring footage which was released, yeah. um, obviously very much seemed to look like AJ had the better of Joe in that, that footage. Just get your take though on seeing it released. Yeah, I don't know who released it actually. I don't know where they got hold of that footage. But Joe was very, very green as an amateur. And even when he, when, even by the time he got to um, the Olympics in 2016 in Rio, his style was still kind of a relatively basic amateur style. He then hooked up with Salas. Uh, he's been, you know, he's had an incredible boxing training with uh, trainers like Abel Sanchez, um, Adam Booth, Steve Broughton. But now he's back with Salas. So when you see Joe in his next fight and compare it to his style then, very upright, you'll see what we're trying to do with Joe. But, you know, Joe is who he is. He has an elite world-level chin and an elite world-level engine. And those two things, and an elite world-level jab, those three things will take him a very, very long way. He's not going to outbox Alexander Usyk or Anthony Joshua. I know sparring, sparring, Adam, it means nothing compared to when somebody's getting ready to face a fight off on a fight night, but was there a sense of frustration that the footage was released at all on Joe's behalf, no matter how many years ago he may have been from? No, I don't think Joe's bothered at all. I don't think Joe's bothered at all. I mean, they sparred. Joe's, Joe's style, even though he was silver, some would say gold medalist, is more suited to the professional game. How is Joe Joyce going to look in rounds 10, 11 and 12 uh, in a top-level fight against Anthony Joshua? No one's got his engine in the heavyweight division. No one's got his chin in the heavyweight division. What's going to happen then? What's the fight going to look like then? I mean, you saw in the Dubois fight, uh, Joe's really started coming into it in the later rounds and obviously made Dubois quit. So I think Joe will do that at the top level. All right, Adam, I appreciate your time as always. Now I'll leave you to crack on with the rest of your day. Thanks for speaking to me in Boxing Social. Thanks, Andy. Cheers, mate.